Well, you've been hearing about transformation and transformed lives during these two weeks. We really aren't exaggerating. It's a favorite theme for the stories we showcase daily on 100 Huntley Street. Keith Alexander spent almost 10 years of his life on the streets of Toronto, a homeless drug addict who was in and out of jail and substance abuse programs. It helps to understand the challenges he faced early in his life, and it is remarkable to see where he is today. I didn't know until later on um, that the things that I experienced uh, in the foster home were, were not normal. I got a phone call one day that my father had died, and within that same month, my best friend uh, that I met in the Navy uh, had died. I had remembered um, the comfort and ease that came with, with cocaine, and I turned to cocaine, and I found myself on the street for about six months where I was arrested for at least seven times. I had a moment of clarity, which led me to detox, then to, um, to a transition program, The Good Shepherd. I had to face a warrant. While in my jail cell, I realized sobriety is contingent upon my relationship with God, and I prayed day and night during this eight and a half months that I was sober that I wasn't praying to a real God. So I needed to surrender uh, my life to a real God. And so I chose the God that I'd always um, denied and chose the God that I uh, walked away from. I started um, uh, Tyndale University, um, getting my Bachelor's of Religious Education. That's a miracle to me because I, I never, um, I, I, last time I was in school was 1979, and I had even dropped out mentally uh, before 1979. I, I never thought that this would happen to me. I never thought that I would be living the life that I live today. I never thought that I would be feeling the way that I feel today. Did you get that? From living on the streets, an addict, to a Bachelor of Religious Education. The Apostle Paul wrote from experience, anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. That's the transformation we keep talking about. A new beginning from the God of second chances. And how many know third, fourth, etc. chances? It begins a whole new story for the person who is willing to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Frederick Buechner wrote, Grace is something you can never get, but can only be given. There's no way to earn it or deserve it or bring it about any more than you can deserve the taste of raspberries and cream. I want to add to that, taste and see that the Lord is good. Our prayer partners will tell you, people are choosing Jesus every day. And regardless of their history, past sins, they're beginning a new life of dignity, healing, and purpose that continues forever with the Lord. It is an honor and privilege for all of us here to make the invitation on Jesus' behalf. Will you make it possible for us to continue? Call now with your pledge. Thank you so much for being part of our Crossroads family.